gym scene from Chicken Little is realistic or impossible? Let's break it down. <laughs> Greetings, folks. My name is Gusto Lappin, and today we have reached our 10th episode of the series where we get to determine if this is real or fake. In today's episode, I will be analyzing the gymnasium scene from the Chicken Little movie, and we will identify if this scene is realistic or impossible. But what you may not know about this movie, it was created by Walt Disney Animation Studios in 2005, and it is also the first 3D animation before Meet the Robinson. And we know that we can tell when we watch something if it is real or if it's fake. But of course, since this movie is animated, we do know that it's fake. However, we're now going to break it down in detail to see if this scene can actually be realistic. Before we get started, I want you to leave a comment down below. Is this scene realistic or is it impossible? What will you think? And at the end of the video, we'll have a discussion to reveal the answer. So let's watch the video. Okay, everyone, listen up. I don't want to hear any quacks, tweets, oinks, whinnies, or cockly doodle doos when I say dodgeball. Woo! Oh, man. Pump it up. Pump it, pump it, pump it. That's just like pump up the jam from Technotronic. That's funny. Split into two teams popular versus unpopular. Coach? Yeah, unpopular. Uh, shouldn't we review safety Where's guidelines? Sure. Hit the pig, kids! Hit the pig? Uh -oh. What are the animals gonna do to run? Uh, the animals are having fun? Watch out for the dodgeballs! Oh, one got hit! Oh, and another! What is Run doing now? Run, just, just do what Fish is doing! Oh, Fish is moving like a robot and dancing! Time to dance now! That's a cool song! Oh, lots of dodgeballs are ahead of us. And Rune's not being careful after all. Incoming on your right. Oh, chicken little little flip. The donkey's kicking the dodgeballs. And it gave the bird the Heimlich. Oh. Oh, what happened to the donkey? Alright, here's the first thing. When that bird spits out the dodgeballs, they bounce on the wall, then the ceiling. And then they hit the donkey and made him become small. So unrealistic, but if this was seen in real life, I'm not sure that the dodgeballs would actually hit the donkey and make him shrink. Or if they did hit the donkey, he would just stay the same and give himself a headache. That would be painful. No, 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 this one's good. Okay, well, look, we're looking. One moment. He's jumping one over moment. the dodgeballs. One moment. Warthog at 3 o'clock. I see him. Oh, is that the Warthog? Where is he? So I figure all I need is a chance. Oh, be careful all of these dodgeballs. To do something great to make everyone forget the whole sky falling thing once and for all. Well, there's no such and thing as a sky falling, Chicken Little. Proud of me. Oh! Oh, no. oh the dodgeballs are in Morcupine's quills. Of course. Oh, who are they calling? Hi, hey, man, what's going on? Yeah, How'd the donkey go back to normal size? That's impossible. Just Where'd they get these magazines you from? Talk, talk. Abby, Abby, Abby. Fish is making a building out of it. That's very wacky. Fish, help me out here. Oh, Fish is pretending to be King Kong on top of the building. How did Fish make these planes out of paper? Oh, it whacked her in the beak. Oh. He's falling down. I didn't know that someone could make a building out of magazine pages as well as planes. But you know that on Earth it wouldn't happen like that. It's really dangerous. And let's not forget the best part. That does it. We were in a timeout, Foxy. Of course not. Prepare to hurt. And I don't mean emotionally like I do. We don't think so. <gasps> hey, what you doing? That's not good. Oh, he got in the window! That's not possible, and there is no way on earth that it's happening here either. It's also impossible. <laughs> That's a nice laugh, Foxy. He's rolling down the window. Oh, Goosey's in the way. Oh, that's very wacky. Oh, he pulled the fire alarm! The sprinklers are on! <laughs> Here's another funny thing. When Chicken Little pulls the fire alarm, the sprinklers went on. How did the sprinklers go on? There's no fire in high heat in the school. You know that it's 
it's against the rules to pull the fire alarm. And if you see a fire alarm, you must pull the fire alarm because it's against the law. And the sound of the alarm bells were very funny, by the way. Oh, the coach is so shocked. His pants are filling up with water. Oh, they're falling apart. That's funny. Okay, I guess it goes without saying, but nobody can make a pair of pants out of paper like that. Why won't you get a regular pair of pants? One that doesn't rip the part by water. It's very important to us. So overall, this scene is so important to watch. Because of the creativity in the movie. And there are so many different tricks in the scene, and it's really, really cool. But I don't think it were real, because it would be very dangerous, for instance. So do you think the gymnasium scene is realistic or impossible? Well, whatever you saw in the gym scene is so impossible. But I think the creators of the movie did a great job with the animated movie. And it doesn't have a sequel, by the way. So tell me what you think about the movie. And who is your favorite character? And what is your favorite part of the scene? Is it being hit by a lot of dodgeballs? Becoming small by getting hit? Making a building out of magazine pages? Flying paper planes around, being clean through the window, burglars going on by the fire alarm, or having your pants ripped in the water. Well, maybe we'll be the lucky ones to find out once and for all, couldn't we? My favorite character is Foxy, the brown Foxy in blue overalls and the white shirt. Because she looks cute, and I like the fact that her name has X in it. Don't you think? So head on over there to see even more exclusive stuff that you still cannot find on YouTube. You can also check out even more projects we'd like to do in the future. And if you sign up, they'll even take more of your suggestions, far more seriously than the ones you will still find here. So please like, comment, and favorite and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy. And this is Gusty Lappin, coming right at you at 12. Goodbye. See you all soon.